look. I'm no mean to burst your bubble island, but I've lost my glasses. This is a piece of nonsense. Listen, it was my idea to play Scrabble. I thought I'd keep our brains active. Well, you need as much help as you can get, eh? You're not the sharpest still in the box, are you? What do you mean? <gasps> oh, did you hear? No. About dog? What about? She had a man round the other day. Did she? What for? He was taught in a human. <laughs> Who was it? George Clay. He was fiddling with a thermostat. <laughs> Don't you, you make me blush. Oh, you're <laughs> wicked. I was thinking about getting one of those young boys to come round to my flat and fix my thermo thingy. I bet you were. And who he asked for? George Clooney. Really? No, you dickhead. <coughs> Which one we fill with? Oh, she was wanting to go to the bingo. Pain in my tear. So why did Dot have man to come fiddle and um, look at our uh, thermostat? <coughs> Turns out Dot was having some issues. <laughs> we are thermos. I bet you that's not all she was having issues with. Molly, if you want to start behaving, we'll be away. Right, right, keep your beaks on. Where were you? Sorry. She called somebody from that Castle Rock, Edinburgh, mm -hmm. and they sent someone out from the, uh... Hang on, I wrote it down somewhere. Has mm -hmm. anyone seen my glasses? Thanks. From the, uh... The Home Energy Advice Team. Aye. They thought it would be best if they moved the thermostat from the hall to the living room. Mm. The home, home Energy, what's it? I think that spells heat. That was probably the idea, Audrey. Oh, isn't that clever, Eva? So you can just ring up for a chat? Okay. Don't say they're dead friendly and helpful. Did she show you? I popped round yesterday to see if she wanted some messages for Tesco. And truth be told, I was just swapping the emails. It's dead smart and digital, much better than the last one. Dot is over the moon with it. Hey. Phyllis, where are you going? Oh, did I fret you? I can handle myself. You could have fooled me then. Are you? You should be showing a woman of my age some respect. Like sh Ladies, how about I go and get us some Georgie Rago? You've got a bad back. Oh, and while you're at it, do us a favour and put the heat on. It's as cold as an arctic roll in here. Joking aside, I'm hinking of taking a leaf out of Dot's book. You're hinking of stealing what out of Dot's book? I said I'm hinking of taking a leaf out of Dot's book. What? <sighs> oh, never mind, Phyllis. Be wished. I am no imagine to get around the flat the same way I used to. Are you thinking about ringing up the heat brigade too? Oh, you mean the heat energy advice team, Maury? Aye, aye, whatever you want to call it. Well, it can't hurt to call them, can it? Do you, will I speak to you too? Wasn't Dot an exceptional case? She's exceptional, all right. Mm. Well, Dot says they offer you all kind of help and advice. I wrote a wee list down earlier on. Yeah. Oh, fellas, go get your glasses. Okay. They are jerks. Aye, aye, aye. They give you those eco fridges and the electric blankets if you qualify. They even phone the gas and electric for you to make sure you get a good tariff. And if you're an old gen like Phyllis over there, they give you the VIP treatment. So if there's a power cut, you still get some heat until the power gets back on. Are they giving you a wee commission, Jean? I think that sounds fantastic. Be a dear and give me a number. I'll be giving them around first thing tomorrow. Hang on, I've had it written down here before. Uh... Oh, it's the phone. I'll have to wait. George Clooney from the heat brigade round fiddling with a thermostat. <laughs> Come on, we better be off. 